Okay, this is the last video for 3.1. Is my hair all mushed up? I hope not. It's hard to tell. I'm trying to look professional. Uh, anyhow, um, horizontal line. A horizontal line. Notice in all of the equations that we've talked about so far, we had both a y and an x in it. Well, these are still gonna be linear equations. They're gonna, they're, they're, their graph is still gonna be a line, is what I'm getting at. But what you're gonna notice, if it's a horizontal, which is like flat, or a vertical, which is like straight up and down, um, it's gonna be either missing the x or the y. So, for horizontal lines, y equals a number, there is no x in the equation. There's not an x. Um, and let's take a look at one. Here we go. Let's look at an example. Y equals 2. So notice for that particular equation, there's no x in it, right? If there's no x in it and there's just y equals, it's going to be horizontal. I want you to understand why. Why would the line y equals 2 be horizontal? Well, let's graph it. If it's horizontal and it's y equals 2, where can you guess that it's going to cross the y-axis? Yeah, a 2. So I'm going to graph that. Okay, so I have my x-axis and my y-axis. And then if I go up one, two spaces, I have this horizontal line y equals two. So let's think about the line y equals two and why it is the way it is. If I had values of x included in that line, it would change the way the line looks, right? But here, there's no value of x to change the way, you know, the line increases or decreases. And if you look at the horizontal line at y equals two, Tell me, what is the coordinate, the y-coordinate of every point on that line? If I'm here, what's the y-coordinate? What if I'm here, what's the y-coordinate? What if I'm here, what's the y-coordinate? So no matter what, if you have a horizontal line that crosses the y-axis at 2, the y-coordinate of that line will always equal 2. So in other words, if y equals 2, this is the best visual rep representation on a rectangular coordinate system of y being equal to two. This is, if someone said draw y equal to two, this is the only way you could draw y equal to two. I mean, it's pretty neat, right? Now, similarly, but alternatively, a vertical line is always x equals a number. And you're going to uh, never see a y in the, in the equation of a vertical line. There's gonna be no y. There's gonna be no y. Um, no y in the equation of a vertical line. So if you see, and let's take a look at that, x equals to five. Well, notice how there's no y in this equation. So in this case, it's gonna be a vertical line. Now, how could you draw a line where x is always equal to five and will never change? I bet you could tell me now. Maybe I need to pause it. Okay, so if I did that, I would have an x and a y, and I would go one, two, three, four, five spaces to the right, because that's where five is, five to the right. And we would draw this vertical line. Now tell me, what is x always equal to, no matter where you're at on this vertical line? It's always 5. So if I said draw x equals 5, I mean, that's pretty much the only way you can do it. So, like, I want you to understand that. I want you to, that to make sense to you because... When this math, when, when you understand the, the early stuff that, you know, when we move on, the later stuff, it, it comes to you easier. Okay, well, that wraps up 3.1.
What's neat in 3.2 is we're going to talk about the slopes of all of these, and I'm looking forward to that. All right. Thank you so much for listening to Unit 3. Have a wonderful day.